Hi, my name is Alice. I'm 45 years old by 2023. I'm going to tell you about my story about my strange encounter with an odd creature that have put my town on the map and have become well famous around the world. The creature is known as the Mothman. Growing up in a small town as Point Pleasant, people have been talking about seeing Mothman all those years ago and even to this, even to this day. Even my own parents actually told me that they saw Mothman one evening back in 1966. Even though I never even believed in Mothman. And I wouldn't even blame because there were probably more other people out there who didn't believe that Mothman was not even a real creature and it could only have been proven scientifically. But anyways... I was always being told that Mothman is real, and even when I was a kid, my parents told me stories about their own encounter about the Mothman, and I could always hearing about neighbors, family friends, or even relatives who had either seen or heard of Moth about Mothman. They wouldn't even almost go nothing, almost a day when also my, my neighbors or people talked about this mysterious Mothman. And as a kid, I was always terrified, mostly because of things that my parents told me, telling me stories about Mothman, and then even told me, if I misbehave, Mothman will come and find me and take me away from my family, which always gave me nightmares. So that I was the reason why I didn't even believe and didn't like Mothman. But having stories about Mothman is something I never even had believed. And... Even as a kid, I never, and so like I said, I never believed in Mothman. And as a teenager, I started to focus on other things than Mothman. Like, of course, my parents had stopped talking about or telling their own experience with Mothman when I was, when I became a teenager. I started to focus on something else like school and future. But even though that as a teenager, I still didn't believe and even when I was like 15, I even told my parents straight in the face one morning or evening when they talked about the Mothman and they mentioned about their own experience. I'm like, Mom, Dad, I don't even believe in Mothman. And please, can you stop talking about it? He's not even real at all. And frankly, I don't even care about the Mothman anymore. That is all that all you or other people talking about. You don't, you're talking like he's, he's just like he's a real, like a real person. My parents was not ever, was not even mad or shocked at me because they knew that there were people out there who didn't even believe that Mothman existed. But my parents, they tried to tell me that he is real. Until I had my own experience or even saw him myself, they couldn't, they were at the, they would res respect and accept my belief, which and it dropped the topic. But I could sometimes hear them talking about the Mothman when they didn't believe I was not even around. But still, as a teenager, as a kid, I never believed in Mothman. But that would all change until my own encounter with this mysterious Mothman that existed. Well, claimed at least. And but but before I got into that, I also heard stories about that Mothman is the one responsible, well, indirectly responsible for the Silver Bridge collapse in 1967. Even though that has never been proven that he was the one behind it or not, but people even to this very day believe that Mothman is the one responsible. That Mothman is always around for always showed up when some bad omen or something bad will happen to the other sort of individual or someone in the family, or maybe a close one. That's what all I know for that at least. But after this experience, all that changed, and I might really start to believe that Mothman was really existed. 
But all this happened in 1996 with my own experience with the Mothman encounter. I was 18 at the time. I was out with my boyfriend Jason and my best friend Nicole and her boyfriend Daniel. We were out on a, on a double date in town and after our double date at the restaurant we decided just since it was still early in the summer and we just had we had all just finished high school. And then since it was still young early evening we didn't have any other particular plans so Daniel su suggested that we would drive out in the countryside just to relax and maybe watch the stars together and then something that was a bad idea. So I was driving. I drove off the outside town to a, a spot that I knew would has a good point of view for the stars. We arrived, it was dark as always, but it was probably around maybe, I think it was around 7.30 or almost, well, I believe it was around 7.30 p.m. at the time. We were just sitting on the, on the car or even standing outside the car. I don't even remember this. It has been so long ago. But as we were just standing there, we were just talking about our future plans, what we had in mind, if we were going to college or we were going to start, start, start working. Jason and Daniel had been talking about if they should apply for any of the a military service, which never happened for either of them, but they were just talking about it. But then, after like maybe 20 minutes, we were standing there, standing out the car, was watching start. We had, or at least Nicole, nudged my arm and said, Did you hear that? I was like, Hear what? I was focused on the, you know, the looking at stars when that there was this strange screeching sound. Jason pointed out maybe it was just an owl. And it was right because in this particular area there was a lot of owls and other birds and other creatures. And that was, that was more logical answer. But, but Daniel laughed and said, maybe it's a mothman looking for the prayers and for the victims. I was like, Daniel, do you know that Mothman is not even real? But what I didn't know, Daniel, Nicole, were strongly believers that the Mothman was real. But Jason, by the hand, I don't know at the time because I never even talked about much about the Mothman, even though we all grew up in the same town. But, and then suddenly when the Daniel said maybe it was just an owl, Nicole dropped it. But after a while, I heard a strange sound myself, but this sounded like flying, a bird, or at least a big bird, like a really big bird, bigger than usually. I looked around, but since it was dark, and if there was an owl, there was, it would have been impossible to see them. Well, since it was dark, and that, that they are also made to be not to be seen at otherwise. And we didn't even have flashlights on us at the time, so... But as we were just talking and just watching the stars, we heard this strange, almost loud screeching fly above our heads. We just so suddenly looked up and went, we couldn't see anything. Daniel pointed out, maybe it's just an owl that for thought maybe some of them had a food with us. Nicole started being freak, were freaking out because she said, what if there was a moth man? But Jason was like, don't worry, that is not like just an owl, he said. But this strange screeching sound became louder and closer. It was like it was circling around us. But I wouldn't even know for sure. But after a while, we started being feeling freaked out and we decided to go back in town again. And it was getting closer to 9 p.m. at the time also. And we had time but be home. So we decided, why not? Jason decided to drive this time. And since I was gonna be tired and... I don't mind. But as we were driving, suddenly Nicole screamed out, Look behind us! And I turned around from the, from the passenger side, from the passenger seat, and I heard something very strong sound, like a screeching, almost like a scream. And I heard this thud, a very loud thud on the, ceil on the car ceiling. And they made the car jump a little bit. 
And Jason's like, did I hear the did I hear the tree branch? I was like, there's not a way for tree branch would even that low. And it was no even there were no trees that even that low at the, on that road that on that particular dirt road. And it was just like once. And the screeching had stopped. But Nicole just walked looked out behind in the, behind her. She was in the she and and Daniel were in, were in the back seat. And Daniel's like, Oh my god! Jason! Kick the paddle faster! Why? Daniel, Jason asked. The Mothman is right behind us! Jason was like, Are you kidding me, Jason? Daniel? But hearing the Daniel's voice, you can clearly hear it was panic in it. No, I'm not kidding this time, Jason. Drive faster. And I looked around, turned around, and was sure enough. Even though I couldn't see much, it was a bit pitch black. There were no street lights on that particular dirt road. Even though it was only like half of a moon. And it didn't give much light. But all I can see, two red spots, quite a distance behind us. Is that... And Nicole said, Yeah, that is Mobman's eyes. Jason, drive faster. And Jason was getting driving and driving faster. But the, the eyes will seem how never even the eyes. They never seem to be getting any this more distant from us. It kept the seem distant. And this could continue for maybe five minutes. But suddenly the eyes was just gone. It's like it different just if this creature just blinked eyes and just or like a, a car turn off its lights. And then suddenly just like only a it felt like an eternity. But then the eyes showed up again. But this time it, they could have more could have not been more than like two to three feet away from the car. And the call freaked out. She screamed of her lungs out. Jason was told to drive faster and faster and faster. And he hit the paddle on the floor. And he was driving as fast as he could. But he said, I can't go any faster. I'm driving it as fast as I could. Or I can't. Even I started to feel panic. And I told Jason, try to find some place that we can hide. Hide where? There are no other roads than for, for miles. They've only one, only one dirt road in and out from where we came from. There were no other side roads either. I mean, if we tried, we would have been end up in a ditch, and this mothman would probably find us. But suddenly, the eyes disappeared again. But this time, we found or heard and felt another big thud on the roof. We were terrified. All of us were screaming, except for Jason. He tried to act calmly. It's like. Don't worry, what do you have to be worrying about? That's just a tea tree branch. But I said this time was strongly and firmly to him, Jason, that is not a tree branch. And you should know by that point. Even though I didn't know it at the time, Jason also freaked out. And he didn't even believe because that was a tree branch, because the head <coughs> the headlights of the car was so strong at the time, and he saw no trees hanging branches so low. And and since the budget that the fights were almost repeatedly, like almost like banging, someone like almost like if someone tried to bang, and then it stopped. We were getting closer to another the main highway into town. And like let's hope that this Whatever it is, doesn't follow the back ends into town. But my hope failed this time as well. Because she or he were to attack in the car, attacked again and again and screech. And tr almost like tried to lift the car up up to ground while the driving. But the car was apparently too heavy for this creature. And Nicole, she was had her head bowed by her knee, by her lap, 
holding her hands above her head, trying to block out the view from this event, trying to block out what's been happening. And Daniel, he was terrified. He was pale as a ghost. And suddenly, in the distance, we saw lights. Not car lights, but street lights. I told Jason, hurry! And he tried as fast as he could. And even all of those attacks, the fights and carbon trying to be lifted repeatedly felt like an eternity. And suddenly, as people get closer, closer, and closer, three street lights. Suddenly, the creature flew. Apparently, let's stop and flew about past the light. And then we all could see the, this creature clearly for the first time. And Based on what we saw that night, it fit the exact description of this legendary Mothman. Even Nicole saw it. She screamed and hid her face in her lap once again. And suddenly, as we hit, as the car hit the asphalt on the main road, and we saw the street lights, the creature was completely gone. I was like. I told Jason not to stop, not even for a second, not until we are inside town. And the drive, while we're driving a little bit slower into town, because we didn't want to be pulled over by the police officer or anything. But as we getting closer into town, all of us were so terrified. And we stopped even outside the closed post office at the time. And we... We sat there, tried to calm down, and even think, what just happened? And be like, should we even tell anyone about this? People had all been talking about seeing the Mothman for the years by the top point. And after all, this has been like 30 years since after his first encounter, or his first scene in our town. But I told myself, I don't know if my parents would even believe me. But we decided... To tell people about this, after all, since people have seen the Mothman already for for quite some time, it would have been no matter the difference that even believers or not. So, after we had dropped off Daniel and Nicole, I dropped off, dropped off Jason by his house and drove home. And my parents were still up, and they were a little bit mad because I had came home maybe as 10 minutes late after my supposed to be home. But their faces were like a little bit serious, but when they saw my terrified face and how, how pale I were, they asked if everything was okay. But at first I couldn't even get the word out. I went just into the living room, sat down on the couch, and my mom sat next to me and asked, Sweetie, are you okay? But I could say I couldn't say anything at all. I was terrified. But my dad said, like, Alice, that snapped out of me. That often often helped tell us what happened. Because my dad had, was, had been outside and saw some dents on the roof of the car. My own car. And he's like, did you hit the tree branches again? Or did you guys try to sit on the car's roof? I shook my head and said, no. And... At first, I didn't even believe that what to say, but since my dad could tell me or could sense I was telling the truth because those dances didn't even match anything like if someone was sitting on the car or smashing. After all, none of us of my friends, not even Jason, was strong enough to even bend that kind of dance or bumps on the car roof. I took a deep breath and said, only one word. Mothman. Both my parents looked at each other and they asked, Mothman? And I told them, if, I mean, well, not everything, but only that after we came to the spot outside town. And my parents said that they believed me. Because they were also, when they told me the story years ago, that they were outside town on a dirt road when they saw, at least, when they saw Mothman. And I told them that I regret every single thing 
that I said about him that he didn't exist, that their encounter was not even real, that they had made it up. But my parents, they wasn't mad at me at all. They were just, they were just say happy that I and my friends and my boyfriend was safe at the time. I was very scared, and I went to bed even though I didn't believe I was going to get any sleep whatsoever. But after that experience, after just being laid down, my adrenaline vanished, and I was like passed out quickly. The very next day, I actually met up Jason, Nicole, and Daniel in town, and we talked about this. They had also told their families, and they all believed them. And when some people had asked us what happened that night, we tell them the truth. And some people didn't even believe us, but what can we do? I mean, I was very skeptical myself once that this mysterious monk man didn't even exist. But now, after that encounter and that experience, without a doubt, monk man is real. But I have never even seen or encountered the monk man ever again. Neither had either, neither had Jason, Daniel, or Nicole. But at least I heard that people still see him. And after that day, I changed my my belief in the, in the paranormal, in the supernatural, and other things like cryptids, which I later learned about, like Bigfoot, Loch Ness monster, and I still have some doubts that some of those creatures not mean exist, but but if my only encounter with my only encounter with with this Mothman, without a doubt, he is real. And even after all these years, I was really happy to have moved on and ever never had hoped I actually had hoped I would never to have to encounter the Mothman again or see him. But I cannot prove it if this was actually Mothman. But at least a few years after this first encounter, I was sitting in the backyard, just alone, and have heard this screeching sound. It almost like identical to the Mothman screeching. I first believed maybe that he was keeping an eye on us, but why would he keep an eye on, on me and my friends particularly? Since people have been seeing him for quite some time. And it, it wouldn't make no sense otherwise. But I did mention this to my parents, and they said it's probably that it was Mothman, but they couldn't be improving it. Because in that, I mean, there has been at least a few years since my first encounter with the Mothman. So my parents might be right. But after that encounter, my belief in the, in the supernatural land became stronger, and I was more acceptable and was open minded about it. And what happened after all this? Well, Jason and I, well, we remained together even... We actually went to college, the same one, and we finished college, and we moved back to Point Pleasant, and he started working as a mechanic, and I started working in a grocery store, and I still not today telling stories about my encounter to some friends, neighbors, and even to my own kids. Even at first, they never even believed in love, man. But I told them, if you are really hoping that you may not have to be encountered your own experience with the mouth, man. But one night, just one night for my, one, of my one of my daughter's twins, if I had to put that much, when they were 10 years old, we were sitting in the backyard in, at our own place. Jason was was out with some with some friends, and me and my girls would be just sitting in the backyard, just doing some things. I don't remember what it was, but then suddenly there was a full moon at the time also, and we saw this. My one of my twins pointed out, "Mom, mom, look, a big bird," and I looked up, and this creature flew by the full moon, and I was like. Girls, you have now seen the Mothman. 
Mom, that was just a bird. No. And I said most birds don't fly around at night. The only ones that fly around is owls or be or bats. But not other much birds don't are asleep at the time night time. But after they saw this creature come more closely and heard a screeching, almost like a human scream, they got scared. But I told them, you won't be afraid, he won't attack us. And suddenly, as this creature just showed up and vanished. But that was the last time I ever saw him. Even though, even though it has been years, many years since I ever first saw the Mothman experience. But just seeing him about that night terrified me. But I have never seen or heard that scream ever again. I told Jason when he came home from after being out with his friends, he was just happy that it didn't do anything. My girls, though, they had nightmares of this Mothman for quite some time, but I assured them that Mothman is not hurting. And ever since then, none of my family had even seen it. And I had also told um, Nicole and even Daniel, who also had to had to point out, were also married since like me and Jason, who were but they were no longer living in Point Pleasant anymore. They moved away years ago, but we remained in touch over social media. And I told them about my and what my girls saw. They were scared, but at least nothing happened. And I hope it stayed that way. And for that, Mothman, please, let us never, never, ever meet again.